Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Secure Tying 5400 Lumen 4x Cree XML T6 LED uh, flashlight. Now they call it waterproof. Um, I'm not sure whether it's waterproof or not. I think it's water resistant. Uh, I'll show you what, um, you know, basically why I think so and uh, how it performs. So let's first take it out of the box. There we go. It's got a nicely machined outside casing, as you can see. Uh, looks like an aluminum bu power button on there. Four Cree LED lights on it. Uh, if you can see there, there they are. And uh, a really nice housing. I like the housing. Plus a lanyard that comes with it right there. One of the things I noticed on this lanyard, which was kind of cool, and if you look at my other video, I'll post a link here to it, uh, on the Securitying uh, Skyray King Superbright 3 times Cree LED light, which is anatomically the same, I would say, I mean physically the same, uh, except for the fact it's only got uh, 3 Cree instead of 4 Cree LEDs, um, you'll see that the same kind of lanyard came with it. And the, the point is that the lanyard's not what's important, okay? What's important is this. I mean, it's nice to have a lanyard and all that. You can use paracord, whatever. Right there. That is an O-ring. It, it's a silicone O-ring, and it's one of the O-rings you can use to seal this flashlight up. Now, like I said, if you watch the other video, I do a more complete teardown of this flashlight than I'm going to do here. Since it's, uh, you know, physically the same as this flashlight, uh, I'm not going to do a full breakdown here. You can just watch the other video and see that, how that's torn down. But... If you look here, you'll see, if I can get it to focus, that there's two uh, little edges on that uh, silicone, on, on that uh, housing for a ring, and I'm just going to put that second ring in here. Not sure if they put it in there as a spare or, uh, you know, just using it because it's easier than using a band, uh, a rubber band. But I'm, I'm glad that they put it on there. And as you can see, it's got a nice finish to it. Uh, it's got nice... Um, machining to it. So I'm quite happy with that. There's the internals. Um, the back does screw off. I didn't know that on that last video, so I'll show you that. There you go. And you can, you could actually remove the guts if you wanted to. Uh, there's another O-ring here around the back, so that's that's a nice feature. Help to keep it uh, water resistant. I'm not going to call it watertight. And I haven't tested to see if it's watertight yet. So I may do that with the other flashlight. I just like this flashlight way too much. Now this is the backing to the ele uh, electronics on it. Uh, I could pop it out, but I did that in the last video, so you can watch that to do that. Same with this plug here. This uh, sorry, this button. It has a. You can just take a, a set of uh, um, pliers and uh, unscrew that off and unscrews. Uh, and I used a spring clip uh, set of pliers to take that off as they fit in there just nicely. Uh, the head. Uh, more than likely screws off, but it's on there very very tight so I didn't even bother to take it off and I didn't need, really, really need to disassemble that. So, let's put the batteries in it see how, uh, I'll show you the modes. So all the batteries are 18650s. Uh, these are just cheap ultra fire uh, uh, batteries. Uh, the ones I harvest, harvest from uh, uh, battery uh, laptop battery packs are way better than these uh, batteries. I found that out uh, yesterday when I did this, the uh, the performance test on this light. So let's put it back together again. So it just screws together like such. It's nice. It, it does actually go together quite nicely, and it's very very solid once it's screwed together. Um, so I think it'd be quite tough in that sense. Um, so the modes. Here are the modes. Uh, one click is full bright. Uh, two clicks is medium. Three clicks is, is uh, I think by a third each step it goes down in power. And fourth click turns it off. Uh, there's SOS and strobe modes on this too and that's gotten by holding down the button. There's your strobe. Hold it down again. There's your SOS. And 
click it again you just turn it off and it goes back to the standard modes again full two-thirds one-third off those are the modes basically that's all there is to that flashlight as far as function goes the rest is uh, basically fit and finish and it's uh, really quite nice in that sense um, as I said it's very well constructed Get it apart again four 18650s uh, there's the head unit itself uh, again pretty easy to take apart just unscrews you unscrew the back as well there's o-ring protected on that and there's the electronics uh, or electrics on the back of that as well so I'll just screw it back together again that there we go so next I'm going to test the uh, battery uh, performance and light performance so the Securitine 5400 lumen 4 times Cree uh, T6 LED is this this flashlight as you can see it's got four Cree LEDs and this is the Securitine sky ray king super bright three times uh, Cree XML6 or T6 LED flashlight. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same setup as I did with the other, uh, with the video I made with this flashlight, the uh, uh, 4000 lumen flashlight, and see what kind of a output I get on, you know, on this same rig, this light meter that I set up, and also the temperature on the uh, actual flashlight. I will be using the exact same flash uh, batteries I used on this light uh, charged to the same amount which is full. Okay I'm going to test this Secur Securitine 5400 lumen 4 Cree XML T6 LED uh, flashlight and uh, I'm starting it right now. All right and I'm, I hit 230 uh, 230 milliamps uh, I have it, uh, the range on the um, meter at uh, 200 and let me switch that down there there we go 210 I'll put it on 200 there so yeah we're at the 210 right at the moment and as soon as that crosses the threshold down to uh, 200 I'll switch it over to the 200 reading but uh, I'm, my next key point will be eight minutes in and then I'll uh, take a reading uh, which is be comparable to well should be somewhat comparable to the three Cree uh, LED uh, super bright uh, Sky King uh, secure tying Sky King flashlight all right we're into eight minutes uh, one of the the first milestone on the other uh, flashlight at this point we're at 128 Fahrenheit and 176 milliamps on this flashlight we're at 101 102 Fahrenheit and 190 uh, 0.4 milliamps so uh, we're getting more light at this point from this light and a lower temperature so it seems to be more efficient at this point than the other flashlight so at eight minutes we're at 102 Fahrenheit and uh, 190.4 milliamps. Uh, I'll check in again in two minutes and see what the temperature and uh, light output is. Okay, we're at 10 minutes, 46 seconds, a little bit late on this, uh, but pretty close to what the other one was, 1031. And uh, we got 107 degrees Fahrenheit and 188.3 uh, milliamps of output, which is still more uh, than the other flashlight which had 133 Fahrenheit and 178 milliamps of output at this point so the other flashlight at this point was hotter and uh, produced less light this one is uh, actually producing more energy on that cell and uh, running a, a lower temperature all right we're almost at uh, the other milestone which is 14 uh, minutes 14 seconds and at this point we have 112 Fahrenheit and 185.9 milliamps which is uh, actually still more light than the other light at this point it's throwing more light energy and is actually running cooler 
Uh, pretty neat uh, results so far. Uh, I'll update us again a little further on. Okay, we're at uh, 2024 or so, or 23, 24 now, and temperature is 119, 120. Uh, I believe it's crested in temperature, but I'm not sure. Um, and the output is 182. Well, it's becoming uncomfortable to hold at this temperature, and uh, uh, but still manageable. Uh, the other one, the other flashlight was a 150 at this point, which was just impossible to hold. Uh, the amperage was 100, uh, 183 here as well, which uh, again is higher than the other one because I had 169 uh, milliamps on that one at the same point. So I'll keep uh, updating. Okay, we're approaching 26 minutes here. Uh, temperature is 124. And the amperage is 178.7. Uh, again, a lower temperature. Uh, it would be uncomfortable to hold the flashlight, uh, but not impossible. Uh, it's hot, but it's not burning hot. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the milliamps uh, is uh, actually 18 milliamps higher than uh, the other flashlight was at this point, too. So it's throwing off more light and giving off less heat. So it's a more efficient light from what I can tell at this point than the other uh, three Cree LED uh, lamp. Um, we'll continue on here. Uh, next milestone will be around uh, 30 minutes. All right, we're approaching the next uh, milestone, which was uh, 2930 on the other flashlight. This one is currently at 125 Fahrenheit and uh, throwing off uh, actually 176 milliamps of energy which is uh, considerably cooler and brighter than the other flashlight. The other flashlight at 2930 was throwing off uh, 151 Fahrenheit and 94 milliamps, not sorry 98 milliamps. So right at this point it's almost twice as bright as the other flashlight was at this point with the same batteries so and 125 is, is you know hot to the touch but it's not impossible to hold um, it's getting warm though I think it would be uncomfortable to hold for any long period of time uh, but I think again you could put a strap on it and, and carry it still without issue uh, it's not burning hot it's hot okay we're approaching the other milestone which was uh, 34 minutes 31 seconds and currently we're at 127 126 Fahrenheit and 171 point, ooh, I'd say uh, 170 point nine milliamps. Uh, that's hugely uh, better than the other light. The other light at this point was given off 135 Fahrenheit, um, which I would say is probably you know uncomfortably hot, and only 12.9 milliamps. So. It had started to dump around the 30 minute mark or be just before the 30 minute mark uh, its light energy. So at this point this flashlight is, is, is performing much better. Uh, it's got a lower temperature and a much higher uh, milliamp uh, output on the, on the lamp. So again I have to say it's more efficient as it is holding its uh, light power longer and uh, its temperature lower. <laughs> 